Hey what's going on guys and welcome to a special video on my channel here from me to you where I just want to say a big big thank you for all the support on my channel over the past year in FIFA 16. I did a video like this last year where I just said thank you really for all the support during FIFA 15. Basically discuss my channel goals for the upcoming year, a recap of how the previous year went for me in FIFA, what I did right, what I did wrong and I thought I'd do the same again because as we come towards the end of FIFA 16, FIFA 17 is due to be released very very soon and of course it will be coming out in the next couple of days for most people. Some people are lucky enough to already have it and already been playing it through EA Access for example. I unfortunately can't do that as I don't have an Xbox but I'll be getting my hands on FIFA 17 over the next couple of days and I'm really really excited to begin making content for you but before I do that I do want to take the time out just to say a massive massive thank you for all the support as per usual over the past year. It really really does mean a lot and as I always say I can't do YouTube without you guys you guys are essential you know for me to do this as a job and just to continue doing it full stop really so thank you so much for the support last year and again in this video just like last year I'm going to discuss my channel goals for next year what I'll be doing next year in FIFA 17 I should say and also how I did last year in FIFA 16 and also how my sort of uh, series ranked up really and how I did in terms of the channel goals I set one year ago so obviously last year uh, I said the same sort of thing uh, in this type of video just you know, thank you for the support. And I offered my channel goals for what I wanted to do in FIFA 17, uh, I should say FIFA 16 even, as FIFA 15 was coming towards its end. Um, if you don't remember, and there's no reason why you should really, because uh, why would you? It's only really relative to me. Um, I discussed my channel goals for FIFA 16 and what I wanted to do. And I told myself and I told you guys that I was going to be targeting, come the end of FIFA 16, 200,000 subscribers and 30 million total video views for the duration of FIFA 16 and unfortunately I sit here and tell you that I did not get close to either of those expectations those were my aims I wanted 200k subs to be sat here right now 200k subs and to have had 30 million total video views for the year and unfortunately I didn't even get close uh, right now I'm on 164 five or hundred sixty six thousand subscribers uh, so I'm about thirty five to thirty four thousand off my target and I also unfortunately only just got over half of the thirty million total video views I was looking for come the end of FIFA 16 but the only person that I can blame for that is me uh, I must say this year was a fun one for content a challenging one however with some very very bad gameplay this year I did struggle to make the series as good as they possibly could be with how tedious the gameplay was particularly offline um, having said that I know for a fact that I could have done more I should have done more and the only person that can be blamed for me not meeting those aims is me I know they were gonna be quite tough aims anyway when I set those a year ago I was being really really ambitious very ambitious indeed looking for about 75,000 subscribers in total at the time and also to reach 30 million total video views that's a lot you know that is an awful awful lot and that was about as how many as I'd had in the past four years from when I started my channel so I knew that was gonna be extremely ambitious and and very very tough to meet. I felt as though I could do it if I really put my mind to it but unfortunately I sort of fell off the ball a little bit this year and I guess I'll discuss that as I go on. Uh, in terms of the content I produced this year I feel as though for the most part you know quite a lot of it was good but also a lot of it was very disappointing and I have to take the time out during this video to apologize for that for not doing as well as I possibly could have done. Um, you'll see three sort of uh, series during this video as I speed up and just sort of show you the um, the beginning and the end, if you will, of what happened in the key moments too. Um, and the three series that I was really proud of this year were my main career mode, the Watford and Milan save at the start of the year. I was very, very proud of the Saving Brave series as well. I think that will always go down as one of my, if not my favourite series I've ever made on YouTube. I had so much fun with that. And also my Hamburg save as well. I really, really like that one too. But a lot of my content this year, just simply put, wasn't good enough. I bought Club and Country back from last year when I used Racing Santander. Did this year used Paris FC. Sadly, it just did not really have the same feel to it as it got last year. Um, some people were willing to admit that obviously Ligue 1 uh, for a lot of people wasn't going to be too exciting as La Liga and maybe that was one of the reasons why. And as we discussed a minute ago there, the gameplay this year was a lot worse than last year as well. There's no denying that whatsoever. Um, but I still feel as though I could have done more with that club and country save and I kind of let myself down with that one. Uh, there were series that I did which never got off the ground, Euro Misfits and also as well. 
well. Uh, at the start of the year, I did a My, Play se a My Player Series 2, did four episodes, but due to the gameplay and also my poor execution, both of those series never got off the ground, and that was really, really poor of me, to be honest, because I don't really do that, you know, start a series and then end it so quickly afterwards when I plan to do it for at least, at the very, very least, one season. So have to apologize for those two terrible series, which were complete letdowns and never really got off the ground, but I didn't see the point in continuing if we're going to make it fun for you. And also some series that I did enjoy, but ended up stopping prematurely when I wanted to do more due to me just not doing enough, really, to make the series better. For example, Rose Division 1. I could have done far better with that one. I really, really enjoyed it at the time, but just wasn't doing enough with it. I started to lose games. I kept on getting hate, and I just couldn't be do I couldn't deal with it anymore, and that's my fault for not being good enough. So, yeah, this series, again, uh, you see right now Watford and Milan. You'll see the Bray series and the Hamburg series as well, just the beginning and the end, really. I think there was some good content this year that I produced. I was very, very happy with that. But I have to say, again, for the overall aims of this channel for this year, you know, to have hit uh, 200,000 subscribers and to hit uh, 30 million total video views, to not even get close to hitting those aims, you know, I was very disappointed in myself this year. And as you guys could probably tell, it was a frustrating year for me. Um, for those that don't know me personally, uh, I moved out for the first time uh, almost a year ago now, crazy, uh, from my house, which I lived in from the age of 10 to 22, down in the south of England to uh, the north of England, now I live in Manchester, uh, into a one bed flat going from a small town to a, a big city. It was, it was a big change for me this year, you know, it was a big, big transition for me as uh, this was sort of like the first full year of me doing it as a proper job, if you will. So it was a big, tough, challenging year. Uh, for those that don't remember as well, for the first month I had no internet in my flat either, which was so frustrating because obviously I, I didn't take any time off work so I couldn't, I'm self-employed, I need the money. Um, and I had to spend some of that money on renting office space out the back of my own pocket just so I could continue to upload for you guys and, and work and earn the money I need to survive. So it was a tough, frustrating, challenging year for me personally. And um, I'm more than willing to admit that uh, this year I fell off the ball a little bit. Um, come mid to late June and early July as well, um, I really, really fell off the ball and began to upload less and also began to just, you know, not work as hard as I was doing at the start of the year and as I have done over the previous year and just in general on my channel, you know, one of the big reasons why I think a lot of people do uh, appreciate the work I put in is because they know I work really, really hard, but I can admit I fell off the ball a little bit and began to put in a little bit less effort. I can only sit here and hold my hands up and apologize for that because you guys are the ones that have put me in this position and if you feel like I'm abusing that by not trying my hardest, that's simply not good enough for me. You know, I need to do more and simply put, again, even though at the start of the year and uh, during the spring as well, I was still working as hard as ever, even harder than ever before, if I'm being honest here. I know for a fact that come the summer, I really let myself go a little bit. And I guess this video is not just for me to say, for me to you to say thank you for all the support, but also to apologize because you guys have always been loyal to me and always been supportive for me to so know that I didn't do as much as I possibly could have done during those months from again, July and uh, late June as well to what was early September. It's only recently that I've started kicking to kick in, uh, kick into gear a little bit. I guess the right time really with a new game about to come out. Um, I know I could have done far more during the summer and I can only apologize for letting you guys down and um, it, it really wasn't good enough for me so anyway I didn't hit my channel goals this year I didn't even get close there's only one person to blame for that and that's me I could have done far more and I really really should have done but I still do want to say thank you because I know that throughout the entire year regardless of whether I was still putting in maximum effort or not the support was always great from you guys on Twitter on social media and also in YouTube comments as well YouTube messages too the support from you guys has always been phenomenal and again I just want to take the time out in this video to say thank you so much because as I always say, and I'll say it again, I am reliant solely on views for me to pay my bills. I need you guys to watch my content, otherwise I don't get paid. I have no sponsorships or anything like that. Uh, I'm also not good enough to get invited to EA's capture events, so I don't really get the head start that some YouTubers may do for the uh, footage before the game comes out. Um, really, all I can do is just try my best to entertain you year after year through the videos I make on the game, and your support throughout has always been phenomenal. I've been doing this for over five years now. It was my five Five year anniversary if you will in the summer in August it's been over five years of making content for you guys on YouTube the one thing that hasn't changed throughout this time has been the support you guys have been willing to offer me and I can't say thank you enough for that every single year I make little tweaks in my content and tweaks in my sort of a persona if you will uh, when making the videos and you guys regardless of what changes I make are always really really supportive indeed it means an awful awful lot to me and I appreciate it very much so for going forward for Fever 17 what will I be 
planning to do. Uh, well, as you guys know, I unfortunately don't have FIFA 17 right now, but I will be getting it in the next couple of days. Uh, I'm very, very excited to start making FIFA 17 content for you. Thank you for staying patient. I know a lot of you guys have been watching, um, obviously, the other YouTubers begin to upload their FIFA 17 stuff with EA Access or invites to the capture event and stuff. I, of course, can't do that sort of stuff. So thank you for staying patient with me, but I'm very, very excited to bring you some FIFA 17 content again over the next couple of days. What will I be doing in FIFA 17, you guys may be wondering? Well, of course, I'll be doing a main manager career mode for you as per usual. That will start as soon as I get my hands on the game. That will be the first thing I produce for you. And we will be uh, will be beginning with Middlesbrough, a newly promoted side to the Premier League, up from the Championship. We'll be starting at the Riverside Stadium. You guys voted we should use Middlesbrough for this year. Thank you to everyone for voting, over 13,000 of you, for deciding the FIFA 17 team. I'm very, very excited to begin life at the Riverside Stadium in the next couple of days. I'll also be doing a journey series. Lots of you are asking me whether I'll be doing a journey. The answer to that question is yes. I'll be doing a journey series right after the uh, the manager career mode begins as well. I'll most likely be using Arsenal with Alex Hunter. So look forward to that. Very, very excited to use a big team as well to start a big team. As of course, I knew no, I normally don't do that. So very excited for that as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy that too. And I'll most likely be doing some Who to Sign for episodes as well. That was a series I ran last year, which wasn't really like a sort of a regular schedule, but something I'd upload from time to time just when I felt like it really and had the sort of the motivation for it. I'll be bringing that, bringing that back for this year as well as I really like that series. It was cool to give you guys tips and suggestions. I normally don't do that, but um, it, it's cool to make a series about that really, helping you guys out if I can by offering my suggestions and tips for signings for certain clubs. So those are the three things I'll be beginning with. But of course, there will be some unique things as well. As you guys know, I try to make unique content and creative series ideas from time to time as well, like Saving Bray, The Experiment, Club and Country. I've got more plans as well for those sort of things too and I've got loads and loads of ideas I'll definitely be doing one or two as the year goes by I won't give anything away though which hopefully you guys will enjoy and find really really fun and for my channel goals for FIFA 17 I know last year I was really ambitious and I unfortunately wasn't able to meet those aims so for this year I'm going to be a bit more realistic and uh, sort of downplay them a little bit I'm hopeful that come the end of FIFA 17 I will hit 200,000 subscribers I know that was my goal for this year and I failed it but for the next year upcoming I want to hit 200k. I feel like I can do that. I need about 35, 34,000 new subscribers. I think I can do that over the course of the year. That's my main channel goal for the end of FIFA 17 in one year's time to be sat here with 200,000 subscribers and also for video views as well. 30 million was way too unrealistic for me and I couldn't get there. I could only just get over half of that. So for this upcoming year, come the end of FIFA 17, for the duration of FIFA 17, I want to hopefully get about 15 to 18 million video views or possibly even at a stretch 20 million video views as well for the year and hopefully I can do that as well. So I want to say a big, big thank you for all the support this year, guys. I really do appreciate it. Once again, I feel like I let myself down really as someone who prized themselves on hard work and determination. I really fell off the ball towards the end of FIFA 16 and during the summer and I can only apologize for that because your support throughout the year as always throughout my entire channel, uh, channel duration has always been fantastic it really does mean a lot to me and if I'm not putting my, uh, my my most effort in if I'm not pulling my weight I mean that's simply not good enough from me so I apologize for not doing as much as I possibly could have done this year I know I should have done more but for FIFA 17 I'm as motivated as ever and I really do hope I can repay you guys with a great year's worth of content so thank you for watching this video thank you for all support throughout the year you don't have to leave a like on that one that's to this one is totally fine but thank you for your support and i can't wait to get going in fewer 17 and hopefully this year i'll hit my aims i'll produce some great content and you guys will really enjoy what i bring to you so much love to you all have a fantastic day and i'll see you for the start of some fewer 17 content very soon